as a realtor, are you having a hard time coming up with content for maybe your YouTube channel, your social media, your website, your blog? Well, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use AI to help out with all of that. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here. Thanks for coming by and checking out another video. Now I'm kind of excited about this one because every once in a while when I'm making videos or figuring out a blog post or a Facebook post or something on social media somewhere, there's been times where I've had a block and I haven't been able to figure out or create content because I've just either life's been busy, the kids have got me preoccupied and I can't come up with content. And for a while I was doing really well. I was scheduling it all out. I had some stuff being automatically posted because I was using different platforms and that kind of all kind of fell apart as things kind of got crazy. So I think that we are living in a time where technology can be used for really, really good and really, really bad. And on the good side of things, these AI platforms that have come out recently are a great way to help you push through your writer's block and your creativity block and to be able to give you ideas for social media posts or copy exactly what it says and use it as a blog post. Now, I've been messing around with a couple different platforms. I've taken the stuff that it's created, ran it through like writer's aid to see if there's any plagiarism and it's always been less than one, either 1% 1 or less and it's a great way to come up with content, especially if you have a YouTube channel for your your you know um, possible clients to find you or to put stuff on your Facebook post, you know, and you know sometimes you feel like you're writing the same stuff over and over again or you're doing the same video over again, and this is going to give you some ways to do it differently. And when I tell you this stuff is 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 on point, it's really on point. So enough of me talking. Let's go jump on the computer and look at the platforms I'm using. I'm also going to put links in the show notes so you can, you know, go over there and, and try it out yourself. Um, one is completely free. One has like a seven day free trial and then you're only limited to like 2000 words and then you have to pay for a membership. So you'll see everything when we go on to the computer and check it out. But again, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Let's get over to the computer and see how this is going to change your, your, posting for social media, I guess the best way to put it. Let's go. All right, so here we are on the computer. I got a couple tabs opened up. And again, this is gonna be geared more towards real estate agents and creating content for them. But if you have any type of business or any type of side hustle, you can still use these concepts to be able to create content for what you're doing. So here is uh, chat GPT. It's been all over the place. Everybody's been talking about it. And I finally decided to give it a spin the last week. So you're gonna have to set up an account, um, username, password, or email and password, that sort of thing. And uh, this one's free. The other one I'm gonna show you, the uh, copy AI, that I've got like seven days free on it. And then it's gonna charge you monthly because you can only do like 2000 words a month or something like that when the free version i'm sure there will be others that come out but anyways let's start a new conversation so if i'm doing let's say a youtube video or maybe i want to make a blog well i guess you could still use this for a blog post if you wanted to but let's just say i'm in connecticut so i wanted to do something on um uh selling your connecticut home and then you just hit enter and the this is what it's going to do it's going to start typing to you if you're planning on selling your home in connecticut here are a few steps you should take to prepare your property for the market now that is a great intro if you're doing a youtube video and then it gives you the bullet points to go on you can research them more if you don't know um, a specific one and then you can go through and then hit all these key points in your video in your blog post in your social media and maybe you do one a day is something like that you know where it's like a drip campaign but on social media and so that literally was just a few seconds it's crazy how fast this work or you know uh reasons to move to and you can put in your state wherever you're from town what have you and it's just going to give you an answer and you can go back and forth so um with this this artificial intelligence supposedly is what it is this ai and it's creepy how fast like i've looked up some stuff for law school in it like hey what is a 
irrevocable trust. And it told me what an irrevocable trust was. It's a little off topic. And then I said, can you give me an example of an irrevocable trust? And it wrote out an example. So it's pretty crazy. Now I asked it, I did ask it for the Powerball numbers and it wouldn't give it to me. It can't predict things. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. So here's, you know, the top eight, you, you can change this to the top eight reasons. So, uh, I know some of you might use like TubeBuddy or, or, or different um, software. I use Morning Fame. Uh, so like if I was going to put, let's just see, uh, top reasons to move to Connecticut. All right, we'll go with, no, I don't want top 10. Let me see here. We'll just let this do this thing and we're going to. Uh, we'll just go with this. So we're going to say, okay, sure. We're going to choose that for step three. And if you use morning fame, you'll know what I'm going through. Maybe I should do a video on this, but I'm not going to go through everything. So this is actually linked to one of my, um, yeah, I think it's linked to this account. So it's not linked to my, uh, my real estate account, so to say. So it's going to show different, uh, information, but you'll see the top 10 reasons. Boy, I better make the top 10. I don't even make the top 10 on here. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I even make the top 20. Oh, anyways. Um, so here we can look at suggestions and it'll tell you different things. So I'm just going to go top reasons to move to Connecticut and we're going to hit search, see what it comes up with. And yep, still didn't make Connecticut. Um, oh wait, there I am. I made it. All right. Number, what number is that? 14. All right. It's not terrible. So let's just say we're going to take that one. We're going to go to step four. Yep. I'm going to ignore all this. And so here with, morning fame they actually brought in an ai for title ideas so i click on this and it's going to take a second to go through and do its thing and its whole ai thing that's all right so here we go we could do the top eight reasons not to move to connecticut okay maybe we want to do a not to move or connecticut eight reasons it's not worth the move. I know Connecticut's really bad. All right, so let's say we want to use this one, right? So we're going to say, okay, the top eight reasons not to move to Connecticut. Now you could do this in TubeBuddy and some of the other things. Uh, if you are using keywords everywhere, kind of the same concept, right? So you want to just highlight this, copy it, and then go back over to here. And we're going to say, okay, tell me about this topic. We're going to hit enter. Hopefully the system's not too busy. And here we go. Here's your whole video outline for you, done for you. And so for me, everything I do, whether it's using Filmora to edit my videos, whether it's using my camera on my phone to record, whether it's using my Sony camera, whether it's shoot on the move, doing a talking head, whatever I'm doing, I want to make sure it's the most time efficient for me because making videos takes time, it takes time away from the family, the kids. And if you've got five kids like me, it, you know, you're getting pulled in every direction. Plus I still work full time, uh, for the state. I've got 18 months left. Not that I'm counting before I can retire. So I'm always looking at ways to shorten my time, either creating content or editing the content. And this is going to help me definitely, um, lower the amount of time I'm sitting at a yellow pad with my pen trying to create ideas where I can just bounce things off this AI and I can say, Oh, you know what? I, you know, maybe I don't want to do the top eight. Maybe I just want to do the top four. Anyway, whatever it is, it's going to help me get through those writing boxes. There's been times where I've worked double shifts. I've done showings. I've done photos for a listing that I have going on, go to a drop one of the kids off a dance or Taekwondo. And then I'm like, okay, I got to get my video done. And if you guys follow this channel, you can see there's times where there's like weeks that go by where I don't release anything because I'm just too much on the plate, so to speak. So like right now it's like 10 o'clock at night when I'm doing this, but, um, it, this is gonna, I can sit down for 15, 20 minutes, you know, put a timer on for 20, 20 minutes, whatever you want to put it on your phone, Alexa, anything like that. And then let it go and have 20 minutes of just typing in ideas and then getting ideas back from this and saving it all to a word document and saying, okay, now I've got ideas for like the next week, the next month, the next three months. So I, to me, I hate using the word game changer, but yeah, it's not a, 
yes, it's a game changer for me because it's going to cut down the amount of time I'm sitting at a yellow pad or my keyboard trying to come up with ideas or topics. I can just go over to Morning Fan and say, okay, what am I looking at? This is what my idea is that I want to do. I say, okay, well, I'm going to use this one because it's got an 80% search rate. And then I'm going to go in my description. It's going to give me, you know, a bunch of keywords. I'll get this up to 100% and then I'll put everything through. I'll do my thumbnail through Canva and stuff like that and so on and so forth. So this is really cool. Um, and then you could even take this and put it into a blog post or put it into a social media post, you know, that sort of thing to build that engagement. Now, this is where the other wizard comes in, the other um, AI, and this is copy AI. And you can see their day pass, their pro. So if you've got a day and you want 24 hours of unlimited words, for the next 24 hours and you want to hammer out a year's worth of content and blog posts and social media posts, you could buy it for 15 bucks and then sit down and just start going to town. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily pay $432 for a year. I don't know how, I think with the free stuff from the chat GPT, I can do almost you'll see it's a little bit different so okay so we're going to do a new project we're going to go over to templates we're going to go to blog post wizard and we're going to hit new project and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go right back to morning fame i'm going to go back up here i'm going to copy this title and i'm going to say this is what i want my blog post title to be and then what are some words i'm going to put uh you know uh connecticut um I could spell it right, Connecticut. Uh, how fingers don't want to work. Housing, real estate, real estate. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Um, and then you can pick the tone. So you want to do a friendly tone. Do you want to do? Um, I don't know, luxury, relaxed, professional, bold. I want to do persuasive. Like I want to be persuasive why you maybe not want to move. I mean, this is probably not a great example. It should probably be the top eight reasons why you want to move to Connecticut, but it is what it is. So we'll go uh, generate outline. Oh, I have no words remaining. Okay, let me buy it. Oh, they're going to get me for a day pass. All right, let me buy a day pass and I'll be right back. Okay, so they got me for the 15 days. So I, I don't know why they give you a seven day trial. I guess I used all my words and the trial period um, from last night or the day before. But anyways, okay, so I'm going to go back, put in the blog title here, um, keywords, Connecticut, um, real estate, home. Fire. All right, so I got some keywords in there. Um, now you can do the tone, like I said. We're going to go persuasive. And then we're going to hit generate outline. Okay, so no snow, uh, too many Yankees, not enough lakes, too many lawyers, not enough cops. Okay, so that's the outline, and you can change these. Um, you can add them, you can take them away. Uh, so we're just gonna hit, you know, uh, generate talking points, Let's see what happens. We're just gonna let this do completely automated. I'm not gonna change anything. So you can go through and change this as you want. Um, all right, so now it's gonna give you no snow, it's gonna give you some outlines, and then you can add talking points, generate more, regenerate talking points for each section right? Because this is going to be a blog post, or you could turn this into a video if you wanted to, and then add this all to your description, however you want to do it. Um, so we're going to hit generate content, content, and I have yet to add anything, move anything, um, anything like that. I'm just leaving it for what it is. And it's generating the content for us. 
Okay, so we have our introductions. You can use this for a video or, you know, just use it right as a blog post. Here's everything that's coming in. So you can go through this. You can write more. You can regenerate content. You can change it if you wanted to. You can get rid of a section, keep a section. And like I said, we're not doing anything other than just clicking through. So we're going to hit create blog post. And here you are, the top eight reasons not to move to Connecticut and insider's guide. I would probably get rid of introduction and say, if you've ever thought about moving to Connecticut, think again, there are many reasons not to live in the nutmeg state, but here are just a few. All right. So it starts off, you know, pretty rough, you know, it's not, you know, too many Yankees, not enough, you know, too many lawyers, not enough lakes, not enough coffee shops, terrible traffic. 84 is pretty bad conclusion. And then it has a conclusion. Um, and so I'm going to pull up one more tab to see what type of plagiarism we're getting on this. So give me one second. Okay, because I am not the best writer in the world, I'm not an English major, I use uh, Pro Writing Aid. You can use Grammarly. There's a couple different ones out there. I happen to like this one because it's not a monthly subscription. I bought a lifetime membership to it and I get all the updates. But anyways, let's go over here and we're going to copy all this and see what are uh if there's any type of plagiarism so we're gonna paste it on in here all right there's everything we're gonna go to more reports we're gonna go to plagiarism and let it do its thing and let's see what comes up uh, so far when i've done this i've been about about one percent um i have to really have to purchase more credits for this too anyways <laughs> All right, let me put this into Grammarly and see what Grammarly says once. Okay, so here's Grammarly, pretty much kind of the same thing. Let's paste it in and see what happens here. All right, so um, general audience, not a little neutral. Okay, yep, okay, done. So that's going to show me some things that it wants it to correct, like curly quotations or straight. So we'll just do update all straight. But anyways, what we want to look at is plagiarism. So it's going to go through and look at everything. And what I want to see is plagiarism and see what comes up. So we have an 84 overall score. Parts of it, uh, and as you go through, I'll tell you. Um, so 1%, 1% matches a text from this website here, and it's this part right here. So this is original content so to speak, made by a computer. Um, again, you can use it word for word. You could use it as a template. You, there's many different things you can do with this. So again, there you go. You, you, you have it done for you. And then you can go into other templates and you can do, okay, well, I want to do a social media content and I want to do a holiday season or event recap or event promotion, whatever it is. You can even use this to respond to other people that comment on your post. I mean, this stuff is pretty powerful and I think we should use it for what it's for. And when I think it's, I think this could be really good. It could be really bad. I mean, if you have a high schooler uh, like I do and they're, in, and they're in high school and they have to write a paper, they might just put in here, tell me about Christopher Columbus or write me a paper about Christopher Columbus or what have you, or um, the, you know, uh, you know, write me a paper about the Statue of Liberty. And it might just give you a whole paper that's not going to be plagiarism. And there's no way to prove that you didn't write it. But anyways, getting off topic, this is how I think you as a creator, somebody as a real estate agent, somebody that has a small business, what have you, does YouTube videos like myself, I'm going to be using this more and more to give me ideas and help me generate content because sometimes frankly i'm not the most creative person in the world and i'm just like okay let me do another market report update and those get pretty boring but if i can say hey here's eight reasons why you don't want to move to connecticut and you know that's just i think that's kind of cool so anyways that's it thanks for watching i will see you in the next video um sorry i don't have any video going right now except for the screen record but i'm at home i'm in my pjs recording this and I will see you on the next video. Peace.